Hey guys and welcome to another Cold Fusion video. This time I'm going to be showing you the Voxus UI setup on the HTC One. Now I was a bit reluctant to do this at first because this was just kind of my personal setup and I didn't think anyone would want to see it, but apparently you guys do, so let's get started. So comparing it to the old uh, Galaxy Note 2 Voxus setup, you'll be able to see that there's a few more animations going on here, and that's just because I had the extra freedom to move around with the performance of the HTC One. Uh, the Note 2 doesn't really handle animations just as smooth. So on the first page, you'll be able to see we've got some power toggles at the bottom, as well as a date, and at the top we've got a date and time, and then we've got 12 of your favourite apps with uh, different icons as well as a uh, missed calls and time banner. So this updates live, so whenever you have a missed call or a missed text, it will show up there. And on the next page, you'll be able to see that we have a full page weather widget, as well as a battery on the top right hand corner. And on the next page, we've got a quick weather glance for the day, and also a widget for your favourite books. Now I know everyone wouldn't read books, but you can replace that with a music player or something if you like. Now how do we go about to access all of our applications when we need them? Well that's quite easy, uh, there's a gesture for a two-fingered swipe downwards and that enables you to see all of your apps and if you want even quicker access wherever you are within, uh, within any application there's relaunch so you can just swipe your finger and go through different categories that way as well. Some people would be happy to note that this does actually work in landscape as well so when you rotate the phone it does change orientation which can be a nice touch and if you want to get rid of that you can always change it through the Nova settings. Speaking of settings, let's see what I have in my Nova settings. So under the desktop section, if we go to the desktop grid, you'll be able to see that it's a hefty 10 by 6 and the width margin is selected as none and also the height margin is selected as none. And for the persistent search bar, I've got that as never and I haven't selected to show shadows as well. And um, for the scroll effect, that is actually listed as none as well and wallpaper scrolling is actually just on and that's it. it now infinite scroll you can select this if you want that just means you continuously cycle through all of your home screens but I've deselected that and I've also selected to uh, not show the icon labels and to resize all widgets and the most important thing make sure widget overlap and overlap when placing is both selected or else you'll not be able to complete the setup and also you might want to lock your desktop so you don't accidentally press things while you're scrolling through. So for the drawer, I have the background transparency set at zero, that's probably the most important thing. And the grid size for portrait is five by four, and for landscape it is three by seven. And the scroll effect is um, a card stack, so that's the uh, effect that you were seeing before. The draw style is horizontal and I've turned infinite scroll off and that's probably about it for this section. Moving on to the dock. So at the top of the selection I've just said to disable the dock entirely so you don't have that annoying dock persistently there in the bottom. And I've just selected to show the scroll indicator and show the divider. And that's, um, that's basically it for the dock. And moving on to folders. Now this isn't that important but if you are going to create folders I've selected it as a, a stack and the folder type to be a square and the background transparency as usual to be a zero and I've actually left the labels on here. So let's move on to the look and feel. So uh, the icon theme is just set as default and the icon size is at a nice 120% for the HTC One and the screen orientation is set as auto. Now if you want to force it as portrait you can do that or landscape, either way it's up to you. And for the rest of them I've just left the stock standard uh, speeds and animations so there's no need to play around with that. And for the show notification bar I've turned that off so uh, the notification bar isn't visible at all times. Alright, so let's check out the gestures and buttons. There's quite a few important things to note here. Uh, the first one would be that I selected that when you select the home button it actually goes to a default uh, predefined screen and I've selected for the pinch in to be showing previews and the pinch out to show recent apps and swipe a single finger swipe down is to toggle the notification bar and two finger swipe up is to show Nova settings and two finger swipe down is to show the app drawer so this is how you kind of maneuver your way around the uh, the new UI. 
Okay, cool. So let's move on to some of the good stuff. Now this animation you're wondering about. How is this crazy thing happening right here? And this uh, animation in particular is done by using multi-picture live wallpaper. And as you can see in the background, you can see that it kind of changes color depending on which wallpaper that you have. And this is a really cool feature and it's automatic for multi-picture live wallpaper. And you need a pretty powerful phone to get this all running smoothly. So let's check it out and see how it's done, shall we? So the first thing you want to do is uh, long press on the home screen and then scroll down to wallpapers and then click on live wallpapers and then select multi-picture live wallpaper and hopefully I've downloaded this before uh, watching this video, it's free from the Play Store. So first we go to common settings and select our picture source and you can select a picture folder and you can use the pictures that I've included in the Voxer setup pack if you like and this will uh, serve for the source for all your home screens. And the background I've selected as auto detect and it gives a little bit of a warning saying you need a faster phone to get this going. And uh, for the picture recrop size ratio I've said to fit to full screen and I've not changed the opacity or saturation in any way. So that's basically the um, uh, basic settings and for different screens I've selected different wallpapers. And for the transition type I've gone ahead and selected a 3D slide. And that is the main thing, that is the effect that you're seeing when you pan from home screen to home screen. And I've chosen to show the reflections at the top and bottom, and also to double tap to change the picture um, when you're looking for a fresh look. And I guess that's about it. So once you're done, you'll end up with uh, that effect that I was talking about beforehand. So let's talk a little bit about the ultimate custom widgets and how to install those. I've had a few people ask me a few questions in the last tutorial so I thought I would instruct you here. So basically um, you just have to download the Voxer setup pack and make sure you've extracted it into a directory that's easy for you to find and rename it to something that you can uh, be familiar with and are comfortable with. So you just leave it to extract, so it depends how fast your phone is but it shouldn't really take too long. Uh, it takes about 15 to 20 seconds on the HTC One. And then once you've got that, you can go ahead and uh, go into your Voxer setup pack and just familiarize yourself with where everything is. So on screen one, you can go in there and have a look for the widgets and then you'll see a clock. And that clock in the use it format is what you use to uh, browse inside of Ultimate Custom Widget, the application itself. And uh, you click on that and that's how you get your clock. So let me demonstrate what I mean by all of this. So we have our clock here which is a fully movable around, it's just a widget basically and it all, all comes in one piece. So you long press on your home screen and click on widgets, go to ultimate custom widget, scroll down to the biggest uh, size, it doesn't really matter at this stage, and go into the use it on the top right hand corner. You can browse uh, in our directory that we've um, established beforehand and uh, go into our screen run directory and then our widgets and then our clock which is exactly what was uh, browsed in before. And that's pretty much it. Once you click on the touch here symbol, you end up with your clock. And it's as simple as that. That's how you get the ultimate custom widgets to show up on your home screen. So let's see another example with the date banner before below. So once again, scrolling down to ultimate custom widget and just uh, selecting the widget that's uh, installed from our directory, which I installed beforehand. And click on it and then click the touch here button and there you have it, you have a banner at the bottom to show your time and date and battery percentage all in the one combo, which is uh, pretty unique. And you can simply resize it and move it around to where you want. So let's look at these power toggles that we have down the bottom here. An interesting point to note here is that as soon as you install it, it shows up on your notification bar when you pull it down, which I thought was ingenious. So um, make sure you slide your transparency down to the bottom to make it transparent and just resize it and place it uh, wherever you want. And once it's on the home screen, it's live. So you just click on it and uh, you can choose if you want it to vibrate or make a noise or whatever uh, when you select your option. So the next page is quite interesting. Let's take a look at that middle Miss Calls text and uh, time banner. So we scroll down to Ultimate Custom Widget and scroll down to the bigger size or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And this time we're actually gonna go and select New so when you click on uh, the new button on the top right hand corner of this application uh, it says touch here and when you touch here you're greeted with uh, a brand new blank canvas and so you're going to want to open your use it file and uh, I've already browsed to it there but um, basically it was just in the directory that uh, 
was uh, listed in the Voxer setup pack. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drag that transparency down to almost zero so it uh, looks a lot more attractive than uh, the stock standard layout. And that's all you really need and then you just click save and then you've saved your new widget and um, there you have it. It's on your home screen, you just resize it to the way that you see fit and position it to where you want and that's how you uh, do that banner and have it transparent as well. I had a few questions in the last tutorial about that one and um, I just thought I'd show you there. Okay, so let's move on to these uh, funny little icons that we have on the um, home screen here. So first, if you want to get an application and change it to that, you just go and uh, home click, long press and click on the application that you want. And I've selected Google Chrome here. Let's go and edit this and then we can just go and um, go into our uh, file manager if we want. But there are a few problems with this. Uh, sometimes it doesn't want to change when you um, browse for your icon during the file manager. So a safe method is just to go into your gallery and select um, the icons. Now these automatically show up uh, once you extract the Voxer setup pack. So once you've done that, you can just click on the icon that you want and it will automatically just um, uh, show up like this and you can crop if you want, but I'm not, there's not really a reason to do that. And you can just select uh, the OK button and that's it. So you have a live shortcut to whatever uh, application that you want. And obviously when you click on it, it opens Google Chrome and uh, it's just your browser. So that's how you do that. So you just repeat that step uh, about 12 times for the applications that you choose. All right, moving on to this uh, live uh, weather four day forecast. It's just a giant widget basically. So you go into your widgets, scroll all the way down to Eye in the Sky and that's uh, downloadable from the Play Store for free. Click on Eye in the Sky Cities and um, make sure that your background color is selected as um, all the way down to the alpha as almost zero or to the top so it's transparent completely. And I'm not sure if this is the stock uh, style but uh, you can quickly browse for styles within the application when, once you're choosing your background transparency and all that kind of stuff. So that's not too difficult. And uh, moving on to this uh, last page, well, technically the last page anyway, all you have to do is uh, just go to, once again, the ultimate custom widget and click on the green, green uh cloud icon and uh, resize that. And it's pretty much the same as any other ultimate custom widget, so there's not much point going through all of that again. And down the bottom, you'll be able to see that there's a My Books uh, widget. And this is just basically um, the Google Play Store widget and going to the My Book selection and just resizing that to your general tastes and preferences once you've selected all of those things. And that, my friends, is pretty much the end of the tutorial. So uh, when you've done all of these steps, you should have a very nice looking phone. And um, please, please, please make sure you've downloaded the Voxer setup pack before you started all of this and make sure you're reading along with the instructions within the README file in the Voxer setup pack on your PC. So um, thanks for watching guys I guess and uh, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again for another video. And since you've been so amazingly behaved and you've waited around till the very end you have two special surprises. The first one is a new keyboard so if you like the look of this keyboard you can download it in the description below and the second surprise is a link to a music video that I've uh, put up a few days ago and this music video is an original music video for my original song that's coming up on my upcoming EP so check that out if you're interested and till next time catch you guys